What's up everybody? Good morning. Happy Sabbath. It is Sabbath and I'm um, very very excited today because I'm actually very very happy happy today because my my eye is now better. Found out yesterday that it was eye allergies and I got the uh they gave me a uh allergy uh allergy eye drops. So everything is all good. Just woke up and a little bit tired. My eye should be red, but it's not. See? I is not red. So, thank you, God. So today I got a question I wanted to ask, I wanted to answer um, from Eric Ramos, I think his name was. Eric Ramos asked, how do I know if I've truly repented? I think some of us are getting confused with uh, being forgiven, like being justified by faith and repenting. To repent means to turn away or to change your mind, to stop doing those things that you don't want to do, to take it back, right? So that's what repentance means. But a lot of people have asked me, how do I know if I'm truly forgiven? I think that's the that's the question that the person had in mind. It's kind of similar. It's kind of in the same vicinity. And a lot of people ask me this all the time. You know, they say, uh, till I don't, I don't feel like I'm forgiven. How do I know? How do I make sure that I am forgiven? How do I make sure that God has forgiven me? How do I make sure that, that when I ask for forgiveness that He actually does forgive me? Well, I'm going to tell you guys, but I am late right now. I got to go to church. I got to set up the audio system. So I'll give you guys an answer in a little bit. Just bear with me. Got to go to church right now. I'm almost at church and um, I wanted to record the Sabbath school because in Sabbath school we're talking about the same thing justification by faith and I don't know if I can because some of the people there some of the some of the youth there they're kind of shy so I don't know if I maybe I could sneak I could do like a little sneak peek um, of the Sabbath school so that you guys can see what we do um, and the things that we talk about there I got a I got a question to ask you. Right. Well, you got a question to ask you, bro. Chill on them questions. Got a question to ask you. Ask me question. How do you how do you know? How do you know that you have been forgiven? <laughs> Ooh, I'm out of here. How do I know? How do you uh, know for sure? Um, for sure. Jesus died for our sins. Yeah, but okay. So let's say you did something wrong, right? What? And you feel bad about it. And you ask for forgiveness. So How do you know for sure that you you've been forgiven? That's a good question. So you gotta go to uh, John 13 6. Is that it? I right, edit that out because I don't think that's it. <laughs> edit that out. Okay. So, all right. So back so back then, <laughs> when they sinned back then in the Old Testament, what did they have to do? They had to cut. They had, a, they had to sacrifice. They had to sacrifice a lamb, right? Yeah. How do they know that that sacrifice is gonna take away their sin? Because God told them so. God told them. God told them. So is it, what is it? Just justification by by truth, by faith. By faith. <laughs> justification by just <laughs> justification by faith, right? Justification by faith. Because it's kind of ridiculous to believe that a slit, a slit, a slit lamb, a lamb with the throat cut that it will take away the sin. But since God said so, they had to believe that, right? And it's because that they believe, then that's what takes their sins away. It's like yes, when your parents yes no. are like, you know, go do this, and you're like, why I gotta do it? And like, cause I told you so. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll edit that out. <laughs> no. So can you the water, baby. Do what? the water. I am now home with my daughter, but she's not here. She's with my little sister. Um, so what were we talking about? I forgot. What we, so many things happened today that I forgot what we were talking about. What were we? Oh, justification by faith. So someone had asked me, 
I think what they were asking me, because the, the, the question was, how do I know that I've truly repented? I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of obvious, right? The very first thing that I, I repented of, that, to repent means to turn away from it, the, the thing that you're talking about. So the very first thing I repented from was cursing. I wanted to stop cursing. When I first decided to become fully a, a full a full on Christian, I was like, well, if I'm going to be a full on Christian, I should stop cursing. And cursing, I just fully repented of it. I stopped cursing cold turkey. I mean, there are some times in the past where I did slip here and there. Um, like when I get mad or like when I when I was trying to nail something and I accidentally uh, not nail my thumb, but I accidentally <laughs> hammer my thumb or something, hit my hit my thumb with a hammer, then it would it would slip. But nowadays, now it's completely. I don't really, I don't even say it. I don't even think it anymore. And when someone says it to me, and you know how when someone says curse words to you and you think it in your brain, but you don't really say it in your brain. You just think it because someone. Um, mentions it so with me I don't even think it anymore I don't even say it in my brain I don't say it physically I don't verbally say it I know that I truly repented because I don't even think about cursing anymore and that's what repent means to stop doing it to stop sinning but I believe the deeper question is how do you know that you are forgiven like when you ask God to forgive you you know when when you sin and you ask God oh God I, I did this Please forgive me. Listen, it's not about how we feel. Some people feel as if they're not forgiven, but it's not about how we, we feel. It's about what the truth, it's about what the Bible says. And the Bible says that if you ask for forgiveness, God is faithful to forgive you. So even though you feel as if you're not forgiven, even though you just you just ask for forgiveness, it's, it, it's really either you believe that God forgave you or not. It has nothing to do with our feelings. It has everything to do with the truth and with our faith. But on the flip side, if you ask God for forgiveness, but you don't mean it, if, if it's not a genuine asking for forgiveness, then of course, God is not going to, you know, God is not going to honor that. He honors those who will ask for forgiveness genuinely, who genuinely feel bad for the sins that they commit and say, God, help me, please, please forgive me. Help me with this sin. Help me get rid of this sin in my life. And God will help you. God will forgive you. He will help you. He will strengthen you when it comes to that certain sin. But again, when you genuinely ask for forgiveness, it's not really about how you feel. Just because you feel as if God did not forgive you does not mean He did not forgive you. Because God says in the Bible that if you ask for forgiveness, He is faithful to forgive. And it's really about justification by faith because you either believe Him or you don't. You either believe that He forgives you or you believe your own feelings, your own heart. And Jeremiah says that the heart is deceitful above all things. Which do you believe? God's word or your heart? If you ask for forgiveness and God says He is faithful to forgive, then believe Him. So thank you guys again. And again, if you guys have any more questions, please comment them down below. And if you guys were blessed by this video, Please like and share, share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your relatives, anyone whom you know would be blessed by this video. And if you are new to this channel and you want to see more Christian content and Bible study vlogs, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell. And if you guys want to support this ministry and keep this ministry afloat, please pray for this online video ministry and donate at schoolforprofits.tv. Thank you guys again. Praise God always. See you guys tomorrow.